One of my favorite ways to demonstrate the new hearing loss functionality is actually getting Carl to listen to podcasts without hearing loss and then with hearing loss. So right now, Carl has my headphones on his head. Um, I'm gonna start a podcast just through my headphones here. I will click play. And there we go, he's, he's listening to his podcast right now. So now on the Carl software, all I have to do is record through no hearing loss. I'm gonna record for 10 seconds. As I record it, he's gonna be listening to both the podcast as well as what I'm saying right now. Um, again, through no hearing loss at all. As soon as it's done, it's just gonna drop me a quick WAV file. You probably saw a window pop up there. That's what that is, so I have file number one for Carl listening to a podcast without hearing loss. Next, we wanna see what that sounds like with hearing loss. So I'm gonna pick an audiogram. It'll just be a random one here. And when I do, same thing, I'm just gonna click record. So now Carl is listening to the same podcast continuing but through the hearing loss that I chose. And what you'll see on the screen again is it pops up another file, and now I have two different WAV files listening to the same podcast, one without a hearing loss and one with a hearing loss. And why I choose a podcast is because it is a lot of speech, it's a lot of conversation, and it's not only is this loud enough can I hear it, but can I actually follow the conversation? So being able to hear what Carl hears of that podcast with and without hearing loss can give you a really great appreciation for what that hearing loss may sound like. And especially in conversation, what might you be missing with that hearing loss? And can you carry the conversation and follow the conversation along with it?